Yikes. What's going on guys, it's Isaac. I'm John. And today we are gonna take three Z50 carcasses and try to make one runner out of it. That's right, we have a guy from the DMV coming in the morning to check out Ike's bike so we can get the process going to make it street legal. And we figured we'd try to throw together one more bike. For John. Problem is, we're not working with much, so let's get to work. All right. First things first, we what, need to clean out a fuel tank. What do you think of the shag seat? <laughs> yeah, dude, that is, that is sweet. <laughs> yeah. Um, Gnarly. I think this is the seat we need to use on yours. I weight reduction bra. Oh uh, yeah, totally. So nice what we bike. just found out is this is actually a silver tag bike, which means it's even more desirable. I knew about silver tags on CT70s, the Trail 70s. Yeah. I never knew about them on uh, Z50s, and you can see that that is a silver tag right there, and then we come over to this one. And that one's not silver. And I never heard of the Silver Tag Z50. And some of y'all might say there's no such thing, but I mean, it's obvious there is a Silver Tag. And uh, the, what got my attention first is the color. This used to be orange. And uh, the ones I found online that were orange were older models. And yeah, the older, it was always the older Trail 70s, the pre-69, pre-70 Trail 70s were the silver, silver tag, tags. older, and more desirable. I mean, I don't reason. know if there's a such thing as the silver tag on these. Uh, I know that the older Z50s didn't have rear suspension. Oh yeah. This one but does. It does. So it's a little um, bit of a mystery. If y'all know anything about this bike with this silver tag and versus, suspension, yeah. yeah versus the other bikes. Let us know in the comments because we, we don't know much about these yeah, Also, weird orange factory paint. Yeah. Not typical. Yeah, I'm so. used to the yellow. Anyway, so we're gonna start by taking a fuel tank off and well, trying to use the one that's the least bad. It's not gonna be this one, because no, look, terrible. holes. Okay. That one's also but, terrible? No, that, that one looks okay, okay on the bike. It might be a different story when we take it off and that one. So we're gonna clean the two and pick the best out of the two. Sounds like plan. I wonder if I should just take the, uh, the seat off. That's gonna be a 12. I hope it looks okay underneath. Are those, someone write on that? Yeah, it's got writing. Someone scratched. <laughs> yeah. Oof. But it's just, oh! Oh! <laughs> Well, we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, we're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> Yikes. Ooh. Mm. Not much here, folks. I use hammer. I mean, French. Ooh. All right. I think that seat will be perfect. Um. Yeah. Who? Oh. Yeah. I don't know why it keeps wanting to go somewhere. Please be better. Ooh. There's no way, dude. What is inside there? All right, it's like right along here. Yeah. Uh, oh. <coughs> I mean. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Um. I, I I take it we're gonna be putting this in in the truck. Yeah. Not yeah. The car. All right. So we'll clean these up and cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. Sounds good. All right. We have both been scrambling to get both of our bikes ready to get inspected by 
the guy from the DMV. We did not give ourselves enough time. And we haven't been doing our usual filming because our makeshift fuel tank cleaner has been making a lot of noise. You think they're done? I don't know uh, how long they've been going. It was an hour last night and an hour and a half today. So two and a half hours. So our fuel tanks have been spinning for about two and a half hours. And we'll just take it off. Yeah, I mean, it should be clean. We cleaned the outside of the tanks last night, shook all the stuff we could out of it, and then we filled it full of BBs and nuts, nuts and, bolts. and bolts and washers, and then we let it spin. All right, let's check the yellow one first. Yeah. What can I pour this into? This is this is old Randy here. Oh yeah, Randy. <laughs> Disgusting. Let me get my flashlight. All right, it, uh, I don't think that big hole was there last time. No, that's gnarly. But my other tank on my bike had holes like that too. Exactly. So there's hope. Yes. Oh, it's a lot better. Is it shiny in there? No. No. But it looks clean at least. It's better. Nothing flaky. Yeah, that's the thing. Nothing flaky. That looks great. That did a good job. All now right, we now. just need to... Uh, wash it out and start sealing it and uh, let her dry for a couple of days for sure and uh, Try to seal it. Let's check the other one. Well, the other one was wet. Hmm? Put the light in there and flip it over and see how holy it is I mean Pretty holy. Yeah, it's pretty holy Go along there all right, but we can probably work but with that. We can work with this one. We can work with this one. But we really want that other one. This one was wet on the inside because I think I think it's muddy. Oh, yuck. Did you... You washed this one. Mm -hmm. You got water inside of yeah. it. Oh, yeah, it's nothing but mud. pretty gnarly but I don't see any flaky stuff okay good yeah but it's still wet it's, but it's wet no flakes. Uh, this one however is a, a bit on the worse side I think but I think that I still would like to try this one sounds good because I mean it's cool man yeah the, I really like the color I mean, it, it was orange. I didn't know they had orange ones. Yep. So, cool. So the guy from the DMV was here and gone, and everything went well. Not for my bike, because it's still in a thousand pieces, but he's actually gonna come by tomorrow. It was really nice of him. Uh, so we have a few more hours to get mine looking a little bit more road worthy. So basically, I don't know how it works in your state, but here in North Carolina, you call the DMV and ask to talk to the, I guess the license and theft person yeah. for a lost title, because that's yeah. basically what happened. It's a lost title. These, most of these Honda Z50s and CT70s were issued with titles when they were new. Uh, anyway, you call them, you schedule an appointment for them to come to you, or you can bring the vehicle to them. And they'll basically want to see the VIN number. They'll take some photos of the vehicle. Uh, they'll want to see it looking complete. They'll want to see a headlight, tail they light. Hear it run. They yeah, they want to hear it run. Working. They want the lights working. Stuff. Yeah, they basically want it ready to go. They'll take some photos of it. They'll send the information and the VIN number into Raleigh, in our case, because that's the state capital. And then uh, and they'll issue some paperwork to you that you then need to take to 
uh, your insurance company and you need to get a bond for it. Ike, explain the bond. James Bond. Before the bond, when they run the VIN number, they also, they're checking to see if it's stolen. Right. See if it's in the system, whatever. Um, the bond uh, is basically a insurance policy on the bike so if it is stolen, someone comes forward claiming it's their bike, uh, I guess they get the bike and you get compensated for the loss of your bike to someone else. Usually basically. you end up giving, in our case for CT70s, you give the insurance company 100 bucks, 120 bucks, something like that. Yeah, and, and the value of these bikes, which y'all see how uh, beat up they are, is about $450, $500. Yep. So that's what they're worth. So we have to, we usually give the insurance company 100 bucks for it. That's what they want. 100, 150 bucks, something yep. like that for the. From yep. there, you fill out more paperwork. Uh, and yeah, what happens next? You get tags. Well, insurance. You get insurance on it, and then you get tags. And you need to go to your tag and title office and submit that paperwork. Oh, and yeah. They'll issue yeah. you a title. A a and then from there, you get your tags, insurance, and you're good to go. Stuff. Yeah, which I'm gonna have insurance on my bike like tomorrow. Oh yeah, for sure. And, and uh, yeah, so yeah, hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah, it's usually not bad. It's a little complicated the first time, but it is yeah. a couple hundred dollars in a couple hours. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, we're gonna keep working on mine. Ike's is looking great and ready to go. Yeah. After the guy from the DMV came by, we washed out our fuel tanks, and we put them in front of our heater here to quickly dry them out. So if I can find a flashlight, we can see uh, how clean they look. That's not bad, dude. No, it Considering good. how terrible it was before. Yep. So I'm, the, I'm pretty happy with yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'm happy too. The biggest problem we have to face now is filling in those holes like we talked about before. So now that these are nice and dry, we can use our fuel tank sealer in combination with fuel tank repair putty, and it should be good to go. But first, let's check up on what Ike is doing. So what we're doing is we're putting a CT70 engine on John's bike. Uh, I have a CT70 uh, plate here with the charging system and the points and all that stuff. It's for CT70. We're wiring it up to the engine, and hopefully it'll work with the coil and all the other accessories. So while Ike is finishing up the ignition system, I'm gonna to get to work on sealing up the fuel tank. So this fuel tank has been picked over with like a little, literally a pick, you just poke holes in it and it act like a woodpecker. And it's in really bad shape. Look at all that. But it's either this or pay an arm and a leg for an original tank or pay like a hundred bucks for a reproduction that doesn't even look close. So I'm gonna choose, try to make this puppy work. Ooh, that is bright. Dude, look at that. That is gnarly. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna use my tube of fuel tank sealer, fuel tank repair. We're going out on a limb today and we're using Pour 15 fuel tank sealer. We usually use Red Coat and we really, really like it. It's worked in the past pretty darn well but the parts store didn't have any. So we're gonna link this down in the description. You can pick it up from Advanced Auto Parts. You can get a discount code with our special discount um, if you wanna check it out for yourself, if it works for us. We'll if, let you know. Yeah, if not, just get Red Coat. That's good stuff. How did my patch job do last night? Good. Not bad. Still got a little crustiness in there. Yeah, I had to use over two tubes on that silver tank down there. Oh yeah. Um, looking pretty good. All we've got to do is seal it. And then, you know, we can come back later with the paddle wheel and smooth this out some. Yeah, I was gonna say, we better. should try to do that. Yeah. And uh, throw a little bit of paint. Uh, this is... This is gonna look identical to my one over there. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, but we don't wanna use this one. We wanna use the gray one over here. 
yeah. was originally orange. It's a little bit different story. <laughs> but the cool thing is we don't have to paint it. We can probably use the paddle wheel just to clean it up some. And uh, go from there. This one's got less garbage in it. Yeah, there were so many. You know the, the, uh, the bolts in here on the brake lathe thing going for like two and a half hours? Yeah. Man, it really did a fantastic job on the inside. Um, I mean, I see, I see like clean metal in there. Yeah, it's stuff. shiny in there. Yeah. Not bad. Um, unfortunately, you know, some of those bolts and stuff fell out. I, I don't know why. The cap was on, but, you know, they just fell out on the floor. Right. Anyhow, um, let's, seal, let's seal this up. And uh, I got the exhaust on the bike. Uh, I got the new ignition on it and all that stuff, so she should be ready to fire up shortly. Awesome. And get um, inspected. Yeah, and get inspected. I don't know if we're going to fire it up, but, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to go straight to a 125. That, that would probably be good. Um, I think the valves are sticking in that head. Okay. When I kick it over, sometimes I get to a hard spot. Oh. And then when it gets past, I hear a little pop. I mm. think the valve is actually sticking, so... Punch into the piston. Yeah, it's probably a good thing to let that head soak. Probably shouldn't w fire it up today. Okay. So, anyhow, um, let's get to sealing. Man, I gotta say, we really whipped this bike in shape. Yeah, man. It's looking pretty good. I, I love how the paint scheme, it was orange, but now it's really matching my C10. Uh, so now, the DMV man, he ran the VIN on Ike's bike so far, and it came back okay, right? Yep. So, that means uh, the next step is to go to our local insurance company. The DMV man gave us, let's see here, it's this paperwork, it's requirements, instructions for obtaining title by filing an indemnity bond, it basically gives you an overview of what you can and can't do. Bonds are not acceptable on an abandoned vehicle, mechanics and storage liens. Anyway, I'm sure you can Google that and find it for yourself if you're in North Carolina. And then here's the paperwork for the indemnity bond itself, which we have to fill out uh, the county, our name, uh, the amount of money the bike is worth, the year, make, model, VIN number, you need it uh, notarized, and then here's an affidavit of, of facts to accompany indemnity bonds, stuff like, how did you acquire the vehicle? Uh, list the date you acquired the vehicle. Is the vehicle currently titled in North Carolina? Stuff like that. So there's all kinds of stuff we need to fill out and we need to do it right now because it's New Year's Eve and the uh, insurance company is trying to close soon. So we will catch back up with you after we get all this filled out. We made it to the insurance company. We filled out paperwork for them, like year, make, model, VIN number for the bikes. We paid for the indemnity bond. In our case, it was $100. Um, and we provided a receipt, and now we have to bring that receipt and a little bit more paperwork to the DMV where they will issue... The title, maybe? Mm -hmm. Or the paperwork? For, the paperwork to go get the title. Yeah, they're going to give us more paperwork, then we're going to head to the tag and title office where we can get tags, we can put insurance on them, and we will be good to go. Um, insurance then tags exactly yeah insurance then tags i ordered all kinds of parts for my bike they should be coming here in a few days uh new seat um a new, new exhaust wheels. new wheels new tires kind of all the odds and ends it is rough around the edges but i think it turned out pretty good not bad yeah we whipped it into shape pretty great so we got the ball rolling on both of those i say let's end the video with a nice fat end of the year burnout Sounds good. 2021, here we come. That's right. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Cars and Cameras uh, 2020. And I'm sure it's 2021 already. This is just, today is December 31st, 2020. So uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody, to all our crazy projects. We have a couple of ideas on what we want to do with Z50s and a special next year. Uh, it should be pretty fun. Although those plans are going to wait until some travel restrictions are lifted because it involves an airplane. Possibly. Possibly. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the burnout. Catch you next year. All right, are you ready, man? About as ready as I'm going to be, dude. Burn it down, bud.
tire, man. I need a tire. 